What is the deal, YouTube? Man, it is your boy Hollywood Troy. I am finally back with yet another video, you guys. It has been a while. I just finally got back from a family uh, business out of town somewhere. I had to take care of some things out of town. But I am back. I just got back Easter. Happy Easter to everybody, man. And I am back. Be doing what I'm doing and what I love to do best. And that is show you guys these shoes and get this video out for you guys. Before I even get started, man, do I even want to take a talk about all the recent L's that I have been taking lately, man. It, it just has been just a tragedy on how many L's that I have been taking as far as uh, Jordan 1 UNC's. Took like about three L's on L's. I'm trying to get those. They did like multiple releases. Uh, with the Flex thing with Foot Locker and uh, I think one of them dropped on the sneaker app as well. Took all three of those, man. It just, I'm I'm just so upset about them shoes, like, on how many L's I took. I even took L's on the uh, Jordan 5 Stealth. I think it's the Stealth 2.0, or I think it was just the Stealth that just reached the dropper as well. Took an L on those, man. So, you guys, I just haven't really had that many shoes to actually show you guys as far as on foot and reviews of shoes because I haven't taken a lot of L's lately, you guys. And the, re uh, the ridiculous prices that they have for resales, man, even trying to get them some of the so many things early. I mean, I could spend the money, but it's just a lot of money to try to get these things early nowadays. And I don't want to spend that top of the line price. Some of these prices is just is high. I know you guys see them, and me myself, I don't even want to spend that. So this is why I haven't showed you guys any uh, shoe reviews and on foot and stuff like that on some of these new upcoming shoes, you guys. But I am hoping to get back on track. And without further ado, we are going to start this video off. So one of the first shoes, one of the first hitters that are that is going to be dropping in April, April 17th to be exact, is the Air Jordan 1 Hyper Royal. I am stoked about the shoes since I had to get the uh, UNC. I might just have to go after this one. Hopefully this one right here fills that void of me not even getting the UNC. And if I do get this right here, this is going to be one of them top notch shoes. Uh, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to do quite as well as the Jordan 1 UNC. A lot of people went after those, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to go after these. And with that being said, man, it is going to be hard as hell to try to get your hands on these as well. This is well as the Jordan uh, 1 UNC was, the Jordan 1 Hyper Royal. I think it's, it's going to be up there as far as trying to get the, get your hands on these. Like I said, man, April is going to have a lot of hard shoes to get on. You have the Legend Blue 11s. And, of course, we have the the very hard Jordan 4 UNC that are also going to be coming out up in April. The shoe is set to be releasing in all sizes, man. GS, uh, kid sizes, baby sizes. And the price point is going to be set at 170 Hopefully, it is going to do well. I think it's, like I said, I think it is going to do very, very well as well as at, at the UNC. And we are going to have to win to see this is this month of April. So, we are very, very close to that happening. The next shoe that is set to be on this list is the LeBron 8s, I think. The LeBron 8s. HWC, aka Hardwood Classes, that is set to be released in April 23rd. Yes, April 23rd of this month, guys. This is another hitter on this list. Now, the price point on this shoe right here is going to be set at $200. Now, to be personally honest, I don't know if I'm going to go after the LeBron shoes right here. It's like I said, man, it's just so many hitters that's coming out in the month of April. I have to pick my choice and make my choice wisely because. Some of these, most of these, majority of these is going to be very, very frustrating and very, very hard to get. So, I am going to have to play my cards right. Hopefully, I can get my hands on these. Like I said, man, last month, and as far as, like, when the uh, Jordan 1s came out, I took some L's. I've been taking a lot of L's recently, man. So, a lot of L's as far as dunk footballs, uh, the Royal, the Hyper Royals, the uh, Lows, and just... Like I said, a, a lot of L's recently, you guys. So I am trying to hurry up and just catch up and fill that void on all the L's that I miss. Hopefully, I get a lot of the shoes that are coming out in April. But only time will tell, and we are going to have to wait and see. This is the next shoe that is set to be releasing in April, which is the Air Max, the Nike Air More Up Tempo. Uh, can't even think of the name. Sorry, this is part of that hoop pack right here, and it is set to return April 16th, 2021. 
Now, I could be wrong. Maybe uh, I'm just seeing like different stuff for like what I'm looking at right now. I see something from way back from 2017, but I am pretty sure that these could happen to see these on the Nike app that they are going to be returning in April. So, hopefully, I'm not telling you guys no wrong information here. The price point will be set at 160. You guys, these are the Nike Air uh, up tempo right here that is set to be returning uh, April 16th. Like I said, you guys, now this is a shoe that I never really was quite fond of. I remember this shoe at one point, like about a couple of years ago, they was super, super hot. I've seen them kind of downgrade over the last, what, two, maybe three years uh, up until now. They kind of downgraded. I don't really see them even wearing them as much as I did before. But I never really owned a pair of them. Like I said, I didn't really care too much about them. So I highly doubt if I'm going to be going at these. Cause these like I said, man, April is got too many hitters as well above these. But I am showing you guys this right here. Just in case some of you guys like uh, up tempo still. And that want to go after the shoe. Please, by all means, go after the shoe, man. Get this shoe. And wear the shoe, man. Flaunt the shoe. Sports the shoe. Wear the hell out the shoe. Keep your shoes clean, though. But wear the hell. What the hell out the shoe? Another shoe that also will be dropping up in April that I'm probably just going to have to probably just miss out on. I don't really like the design anyway. Is the Nike SB Dunk uh, Maui? Wowie? Maui Wowie. I'll put, the, I'll put the name of the shoe down here somewhere just so you guys won't confuse what I'm saying. So it's Maui Wowie. Rumored to drop on 420. You guys already know if you guys you know. If you, and that's for y'all right there. 420, that's just when the shoe is going to be dropping. And the shoe is going to be set at a price point of 120 The dunks always come up with these crazy, especially for 420 Always come up with something real, real crazy, real, real different. And the intricate design, like at this one, it looks nice. It looks great, man. I probably would have got my hands on these, but I say the suede on the right shoe is really, really throwing me off. That's about the only thing that probably would have stopped me. Other than that, I probably would have went after it, and most likely the probably would have just been... A real nice monument and sitting up somewhere chilling. That's about it. Maybe I would have wore it. I probably would have wore it once or twice. But other than that, the shoe looks great, man. It would have just been a nice little 420 pickup just to have around, you know, just to have in the collection. So, yes. But like I said, uh, 420 is the release date. 120 will be the price point on the Maui Wawi SB Dunk High. The last April shoe that we are going to be showing, pretty sure everybody already. Been waiting on this one and already know about this one coming out is the Jordan 5 Toro Bravo or Raging Bull. I think they are starting to call it the Toro Bravo slash Raging Bull, whichever one. But it is set to be released five days from now, which is April 10th, you guys. So you guys got five days. You got to get you guys hands on this one right here. Five days. It's almost here. That'll be here real quick. Price nice point on this one is going to be set at 190 And like I said, this is in that month of April. So the Toro Bravo slash Raging Bullet, I'm going to have to pass it up. So there it is there. I mean, the shoe, don't, don't, it really doesn't look that bad. When I first seen the shoe, it was an immediate hell no. But as of right now, the shoe is looking very, very nice. It looks way better than the Reverse 12s because I think it has that same, like, uh, probably has new bug. It looks more like a new bug feature to me than suede. But it... Like I said, it looks way more better than those, and it also looks way more better than up and coming uh, reverse flu games that's going to be coming out later on throughout this year. So, at these would have been out of those three shoes, I would have definitely picked up the Raging Bull Toro Bravo than those two right there. But being that it is coming out in this month of April, which has got so many hitters coming out, that is way above the shoe to me. Compared to me, not your guys, but to me, I mean, you guys might compare this one as more of a essential shoe. I just said essential, essential shoe compared to the other ones. But this one right here just is just not 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 up there as the other ones. But if you guys would like to get you guys hands on the shoe, man, you guys have five days to get you guys hands on the shoe. The price point is going to be set at one ninety. April tenth is the release date. I wanted to cover some a few of the April shoes that are going to be coming out recently. So we are about to go into other shoes that's going to be coming out later on throughout uh, 2021. And I am going to start off with the Air Jordan 3 Racer Blue. Now we finally have gotten an official look of the Air Jordan 3 Racer Blue. And it is set to be released in July 10th. July 10th, 2021. Price point is going to be set at 
190. Now the shoe is the recent, well, the recent new updated picks of the shoe. It, it did a lot of justice to the shoe that as far as the picks that they had before. But the official recent updated pictures just uh kind of like shines a light on a lot of questions that we probably all had. The shoe looks great, it looks good. I really would like to see the shoe in hand to finally get a full, full head on note. So I might have to, might go ahead and just go after these, man, so I can show you guys these shoes in hand and in hand review and on foot review for you guys to really know what you guys are getting for it. It's the new threes right here. Like I said, they look great, they look good. It is just a few features that I'm not too fond with, but I would like to get my hands on it just to go into more detail and more in depth on the shoe itself. Like I said, but the shoe is set to release July 10th. Price point is gonna be set at 190. Next shoe on this list is the Air Jordan 1 Pilot. Now the Air Jordan 1 Pilot is a shoe that I would normally touch, but the shoe has been growing on me and I'm looking at the shoe like I might have to touch this shoe and just get my hands on this shoe right here. Cause I think it's gonna do very, very well. A lot of people might go after the shoe and I also think the shoe was paying a little bit homage to the Wu-Tang design. If I'm not mistaken, the shoe is supposed to be paying homage, or I probably had like a similar design as the Wu Tang Dunks uh, that came out a while ago. But the shoe is set to be releasing in August 21st, 2021. The price point is going to be set at 170. And I, like I said, you guys, I might just have to get my hands on this one right here. I like it. Uh, it looks great. It looks good. So we're just going to have to wait and see when the time comes before they drop it. I'm going to see. I'm, I'm Like I said, man, I would like to get all these shoes early for you guys to see. But the resale price, man, and, it, and just the, not even the resale price. Just the price that I'm trying to get the shoes early. It just skyrocketed as far as like the pandemic and COVID and everything. I'm pretty sure I, a lot of people know that. Like I said, so it just got a little bit more harder. Like, I'm not saying that I can't do it. I just prefer not to do it at the time being. I, I might have to start just say, get in and start doing it. Next shoe is another Air Jordan 1. This is the Air Jordan 1 Hot OG Band that is said to be releasing in a patent leather design. Now, I have recently heard a lot of people talking about patent leather, like, uh, like, I think I seen a quote. Uh, somebody said, uh, Oh wow, they still make the shoes in patent leather. Like, I don't really have a problem with patent leather. I like patent leather. If you have a problem with patent leather, then stop buying the leathers. There it is. Don't buy these. Simple as that. Anyway, I like it. I, I like what they did. I like the shoe is set to be released in the October 2021. The price point is going to be set at 170 It does have that OG retro Air Jordan 1 band design colorway. Just pat, patent leather. That's it. That's all they pretty much did with the shoe. I don't really see nothing else uh, different with the shoe. I like it. This is the only picture I have seen. So we are going to have to wait till we get actual official and updated pictures of the shoe. But I will keep you guys posted on that. And that is it, everybody. Man, this is your boy, Hollywood Try. I am about to be out. But before I go, I would like to say, man, thank you, everybody. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did have a recent video to hit that thousand uh, views marker. And that is great. It would have been a lot a lot more better if that would have been a thousand subscribers or even a thousand likes that right there would have been a lot more better yet but you guys man i am glad that i have got to that thousand view marker thanks to you guys i really appreciate it and that right there just makes just motivates me even more man to keep producing these videos out for you guys man i am going to be trying to bring more shoes for every views and on foot man depends on if i don't take any more l's in the near future if not i would think of something else man to satisfy you guys taste and needs on shoes and shoe topics uh shoe videos in the near future but like i said man i would like to thank you guys man for getting me to that thousand views man now, i would like to get to that thousand subscribe button so you guys already know what you have to do man if you haven't done it by now hit that subscribe man that would be great lovely and also hit that like i would like to hit them thousand likes as well man you guys and don't always don't forget to hit me up on any type of social media man and hit me up in the comment section man if you guys want to have any type of topics or to talk about some of the shoes that you guys just cop lately or going to be copying some of these shoes that i just showed you guys on this video man and i just would like to say thank you man this is your boy hollywood Trey, guys i am out peace